if you go home after this and turn on your TV, you will likely see the failures of the Obama foreign policy unfolding before our eyes. You see, if you look around the world, what we are witnessing is the unraveling of the Obama foreign policy. Four Americans were murdered in a terrorist attack in Benghazi. The point is, in a Romney administration, when we know that we are clearly attacked by terrorists, we won't be afraid to say what it is. If terrorists attack us, we will say we had a terrorist attack, and more importantly, we will do what it's necessary to prevent that from happening by having a strong military, by making sure that our adversaries do not test us, do not think that we are weak and in retreat. This was not simply an isolated incident, but indicative of a broader failure. Iran's closer to a nuclear weapon. The Middle East is in turmoil. Nearly two dozen nations we witnessed on our television screens were burning our flags in protests in riots. You see, if we project weakness abroad, our adversaries are that much more willing to test us, to question our resolve. And our allies are more hesitant to trust us. We can't afford to put more daylight between ourselves and our allies like Israel. We can't afford to equivocate when dissidents are taking to the street, arguing and fighting for peace against the tyrannical dictators that are crushing them. We can't afford to call Bashar Assad a reformer, say he has to go, and then watch 20 months go by while he slaughters tens of thousands of his people. The reason we can't afford this is because if we want peace here at home in America, we need to have a strong military. And we can't afford these devastating defense cuts that the president is promising. We will reverse this. If you take all of these defense cuts that are coming due, that could lead to as many as 200,000 of our troops leaving the military. Think about this for a minute. We all know 